wants to present this case. I would firstly like to um, have definitions of some, some uh, uh, key words in this um, debate. After, afterwards, I will tell you our three, base, our three main arguments, which are privacy, why will this lead to discrimination and constancy? And third argument is uh, constancy of um, uh, applicants. So, uh, firstly, uh, we think that, let's say that we think, we believe that this is the world where everyone should have uh, some uh, basic rights, such as uh, right in their privacy. So we think that because of the increasing of internet and uh, internet expansion and increasing the internet users, we think that in the last years um, that endangered those basic rights such as right and privacy. And I will explain to you uh, later on. So firstly, um, by banning, we think that we should make illegal uh, to uh, employers to access not the current employed people, but only the, the people who are applying for their job. So, uh, we think that um, uh, checking the uh, applicators' uh, social medias um, uh, enables them to find some of their personal information that they couldn't find by uh, the applications they got. By social media, we don't consider only Facebook, of course. We consider all the other social medias, such as Twitter, Instagram, contacting so, uh, in South Russia, um, uh, states, MySpace, LinkedIn, in US, and etc. All the social medias that are uh, uh, connected people uh, in the world. So uh, let's <coughs> skip to the, our first argument, which is privacy. Why do we think that um, this will endanger people's privacy? We think that no one should use the information of private life for something that they uh, shouldn't use. It. For example, when you're applying to some job, some certain questions are not allowed to ask. For example, if you're planning to have children, if you're married or not. By uh, typing the name on, or a hashtag on um, uh, Twitter, even if you are not friends with someone, even if Someone's not allowing you to see those informations on certain uh, social media sites, maybe not only on Facebook, but on certain so social media sites, you can get access to, to those information we can, you, which you're not allowed to get because they are personal information which are not concerned um, in your um, business uh, uh, on or, or professional career. So we think that there is there is difference between personal and professional life. So we uh, think that. Uh, the, this thing will uh, endanger the personal things, uh, the personal life of the applicant. Our second argument uh, is discrimination. Why do we think that it, it will is discrimination? Because not everyone in this world has social media contact. It has a social uh, media site. Uh, we think that this will lead to uh, discrimination because when if, for example, if I apply to some job and I have all the social media sites and my friend doesn't doesn't have it, the uh, the employers are able to see those informations from me, but they don't know it from him. So in that way, I'm discriminated because I they know some informations about me and they don't know some informations about them, which is, which leads us to the point where they will probably uh, employ that the other guy or invite him or her to the second uh, round the uh, application, uh, application uh, not me because they discovered that I plan to have, I'm planning to have children because I got married in, I don't know, one year ago. So uh, we also think that uh, this uh, this will also lead us to uh, co uh, constancy of admiring uh, people. We think that uh, applications should be co um, consistent, um, judging, pe judging people on the same level. When, when you have, um, for example, in some applicants, uh, you, don't have, uh, you don't have to send your picture or something like that. Yeah, you don't have an interview, you don't have certain questions. We think that uh, by uh, this, the, the applicants won't be on the same level. Uh, also, by, um, by, by this, we think that um, by discrimination, actually, we uh, uh, think that uh, some, 
uh, the employers will use those information to discriminate us. Not only the people who, who doesn't have the Facebook, like I mentioned, that's the, the second part of the art of discrimination argument. Not only the people who doesn't have Facebook will be um, and have a better position, but we who have, uh, let's say most people, will have that social media. Those who have will be discriminated by the but that information they got. So the the employers will search those informations that will enable them to uh, choose whether they are good for that job or not. So basically basically we think that all of the all these arguments prove that uh, by uh, Letting employers have the access to some information which are they're, they're not allowed will um, uh, uh, in, in danger the personal uh, personal life of uh, applicants. So we think that it, it is very very bad, and we said it in uh, uh, three arguments as uh, privacy. Why why that why does it lead us to discrimination and not the same positions uh, as we all should have same positions? So. I'm very happy to propose. I thank Sylvia for her speech. Um, yes. How much time do you need? Just can you just. Yes, um, yes. That was a minute, please. Yeah, other people. So what if this employer uh, 
tomorrow or someday uh, sends you a friend request and you accept him, then he sees your what you're doing or what you're saying or about tattooing your baby or whatever you Well, that is different, yeah. Then I accept him and then I look at him as a friend, not as, a, not as an employer. Yeah. Um, and anyway. I'm not I'm not the applicant for his job. I'm uh, we, we, I, I said in my definition we're not talking about current employers. We're talking about applicant for jobs. Isn't this uh, uh, a tool to advance or to uh, to advance the danger maybe to know that person more? Uh, what is he? Uh, or who is he for your company? In we in think case. that companies you already you have tools to. Yeah, yeah, let me answer if you want okay. to answer to your question. Yeah, you can yeah. answer now. Um, we think that companies already have uh, applications which you must fill, CVs yeah. which you must send, which are needed for your job. So you must finish university if you want to apply yeah. some jobs. And we think that that is all needed information for your applying. It's not needed to know if I want to have a tattoo or a baby. Fine. Five minutes left. Behavior and to be uh, polite. 
In the <coughs> first argument, they also mentioned that it's not important for the employer to know if he's married. But even your marriage conduct your right to be elected for U.S. president. In their second argument, they said uh, for the discrimination, and they said that not everyone has social media. We won't impose to anyone to open necessarily the Facebook account. But if anyone has Facebook account, it doesn't make him uh, discrimination positive or negative because it uh, depends from how he is in the Facebook. And the Facebook is the same as life. A, bit, uh, a man can't have two different lives. One virtual life that is totally different from the real life. We won't request the Facebook necessarily because we have an others, uh, other, uh, other ways how to get the information. It's not the main way the Facebook uh, or social media or the only one way, uh, but it is the one of others. Uh, if, uh, if they, uh, and why we need to check the Facebook? Why we need it? Because the employees and the employer will have a closer relation. And here is the importance of Facebook because it's a great way to see the applicant's behavior in the society and with other people. They can see the way how they communicate with others and, he, and if he have dangerous ideas or inappropriate uh, actions uh, for our company. Uh, th uh, also, people uh, can't have, uh, as I said, two different uh, lives and if they said that it's a possibility to have fake accounts, I said that uh, fake accounts uh, is a professionally uh, suicide because having a fake account uh, gives us the reason to know that it, he is not sincerely. Uh, also, even passports can be made uh, uh, fake and it's not a relevant uh, uh, argument. In their third argument, they said that the uh, employer doesn't have the consent of the employee uh, to, uh, to check their Facebook. But it's not, uh, it's not any violence if we check the Facebook, because a, a general view of your prof profile can be made by, uh, by every, everyone who wants to do it. Uh, so, uh, the employers knows the benefits, as I said on our argument, the benefits of the internet. And if you make it illegal, then they will try to take an illegal way to check your Facebook because of the benefits it offers to employer to know a part of your life that you wanted to ban and to make illegal for him to check it. If uh, our counter argument is if everything is okay with the applicant, why he, they should be afraid to, to tell others their virtual life. If we, if we ban the, the, uh, the checking of Facebook and taking information about their uh, of this, that pay report of, of life that they have, we throw away a great opportunity to have information about them on a structure that is not uh, that is not is not uh, clearly uh, uh, telling on the on the other other ways. Through uh, also uh, through the checking the Facebook, we have a great opportunity uh, to to take information about the uh, the. The behavior they have with other people and the, if they are uh, enough uh, communicated with others and the, if they have enough uh, enough uh, no, knowledge uh, social uh, uh, social behavior but two we don't uh, think that uh, having a Facebook is a positive discrimination or negative discrimination because we can't impose to others to have uh, necessarily a Facebook, it's their choice to have it, but if they have it or don't have it, it's just um, relatively uh, things that can help or not help them on the job. Thank you.
that somebody uh, considers as its private life and to attack someone's privacy if it's not connected to our business, to our abilities, to, I don't know, our abilities to do any job. They, of course, mention hate speech, I know, being a racist, being a disgusting person and so But we think that all relevant questions and uh, information should be in the application itself. About the US president, it's elected, it's not employed. So basically it's not, you know, it's not a big deal if he's married or not because three, 300 million Americans elect them, not employ them. Uh, so basically, uh, within the, within the, when you hire a person, you have interviews, you have pictures, you, have, you can send them to do some tests, you can send them to do a you know, mental test to see if they are normal, you can, I don't know, take a picture of them. I mean, there are all sorts of ways that you can, also different uh, things you can put into application to see what person, uh, uh, what character does this person have. Secondly, about the discrimination thing, we really think that uh, if you check uh, people's profile on all social media on the first place, you do this uh, in order to gain some information uh, if you, that can be discriminatory to you. Because you don't get to speculate on something someone may or may not do. For example, um, if I want to hire a female engineer, so I momentarily, if, if I have a female applicant, I momentarily go to her Facebook profile to see if she is married, to see if I will have to see for another uh, employer in the next, I don't know, nine months or what it takes to, uh, when she's pregnant. So on the first place, uh, you, it enables people to discriminate because some information are discriminatory at the first place. In the United States of America, it's forbidden to ask for race, for uh, whether a person is married or not, for political views and anything in the application, just because it's a discriminatory. And the consistency of the application, which is also connected to the discrimination, is about people don't having Facebook, social media and everything else. Of course, we're not making people, we're not imposing people with Facebook. That's not our point. We never, we never mentioned this. What we are trying to say is that some people don't have social media. And if I'm, uh, I don't know, a CEO in some company, and if the policy of my company is to check a Facebook profile and to um, draw conclusions from the information we get from this Facebook Facebook profile, the person, the person who is who has a Facebook profile is automatically in the better position, because they, because uh, the, the the employer is then able to gain information that he requires. So automatically, the person who is not having profile on those social media is uh, is having a hard time in the beginning. Uh, yeah, few other things were mentioned, such as fake accounts, which I don't think we mentioned at all, although you 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 stated. Uh, of course, we believe that fake accounts are not good and could be career suicide, but that's not what we meant. Men said in any point, so um, I didn't see the point of view rebuffing it. Um, and yeah, what you else matter is that Facebook and other social media can contribute to um, having closer relation with, uh, with the employee. What we think is that, uh, what we think is that if you use social network as we prove that to uh, endanger person's privacy and to discriminate person, you might not create, create that relation at all. Because you put the applicant in a bad position in the first place.
four minutes left. You said that no information should be seen by the employer if it's not connected to the job. But can you tell me just one job that is not required to be polite? I didn't say that politeness is not information which is not connected but to the job. But you said that they not, don't need to get information for things that are not connected to the job. And you so said that being polite it can, yes, and it can yeah, be it taken by the internet. It also can be seen in the interview. If I'm an employer sitting here, you're sitting here. If you're being impolite, I won't hire you. But I don't know what, how you are with other people. So I know what, how you are with me. Well, because you have interest, interest to me and you will be polite to the other person. Do you have interest by me if I am an employer and you are an employee? So what? Uh, I mean, uh, I guess human resources in the companies, uh, it's, a, it's a science, you know. So those uh, departments for human resources, they have really, really clever ways okay. to think of you know, hiring you and see what you actually okay. are. Okay. If a person with a voluntary uh, job has a better position... If a person that... Did a voluntary job uh -huh. has okay. a better position than any other? It depends on the employer and the job itself. And it depends how he did it. If he did it. Exactly. That's okay. why you have recommendations. That's, that's great. Uh, why you need to hide your Facebook? It means that you are afraid from something, or at least at the first perception, it looks like you are uh, you have something. Or it hide. means I'm a woman and I just got married and I want to have a child, yeah. and people want employ me because he's going to have to find another employee in nine months or in one year or whenever I, I get pregnant. Uh, where That's why I have to be you should tell the others if you want to have a child. Because I want people to know that I will have a child. Okay, I want you what you want. Uh, you doesn't want to know the employer. Yes, I don't want employer to know that I have a child, but I want people to know that I, that I want to have a child. Okay, and if you uh, hidden your Facebook, so you ban the checking the Facebook. I can the, ban the government. Okay, I mean, okay. Makes how the employer it. can get information about you on your personal life or in your common life with other people? Should it? Do we? But that's the point. We don't want them to get information about the personal common life. But you will have the, uh, the, the communication with other people when you are on the job? Well, that's because that's why this topic says applications. Okay. Applicants. But you are a possibility uh, employer. Yeah, well, if, for, for example, okay, I'm now an applicant and I get a job. Okay. Then I'm an employee. Yeah. So this is not the topic. The topic. Let me just but you're I think the topic says for employee. You won't be forever an applicant. Well, that's the point. <coughs> while I'm the applicant, he is or she employee. Employer is not allowed. It can be to work. too late after you are employee, and I agree with you to be an applicant. But I want it can be too late. Yes, when you will be the employee. Fine. I didn't understand. Sorry. Okay.
Thank you very much. how many people works in the HR uh, um, departure then, which means that those people uh, have finished schools for uh, making application to enable people to work for them. So tell me, why do you think that if they're uh, educated for that, why do you think that they don't put it in applications for job? They don't put the the needed inf necessary ne information for job. If it, you said. Let me explain you. Yes. You said that it is violent for them, um, that it is not violent for them to search by social media. Well, if it isn't violent, why don't they put it in an application? I mean, they, they are educated for it. As my uh, colleague said, they, uh, uh, they, they have um, created, they, they have, um, uh, they don't have that question because they consider this yes, question yes. as discriminationary you, yes, kind of question. So tell me why is it why? Yeah, well, if you consider as discrimination that somebody has Facebook and he can check, it's just by considering discrimination, for example, you can afford to go to Harvard and I can. No, 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 thing. not by having, by, by having. Okay, tell me why do you, why do you think if those questions are uh, not 
violent. I mean, personal well, some person well, are are so needless. You you need them that much. Why don't you put them on, in applications? It's not. We, we say it's not the main criteria to get the job. It's just something extra. I think we mentioned in both of our speeches. So why is it ne that necessary? If it's something extra, that means that you can it's have the that job. Of his company. I don't know his personal interest for his company to go bigger and have bigger. So you said that okay. You can just go ahead. Sorry, that question. Never mind. So you you said that uh, it would seem that someone is hiding something for their company, didn't you? Well, yeah. If they try to not give, not give to them access to their Facebook. I mean, everybody can give a general look at anybody's Facebook. Okay. So just let me ask a question. If it's uh, banned by law, which yes. means state has banned that. Why do you think that some that it, they would consider it as uh, hiding from something or as hiding themselves, hiding the personality, but because the, the well, state would say so? If it's banned, then nobody can go and check it. I don't really get your point. Well, the state, okay. The company will consider as you're trying to hide if you try to hide your Facebook from them. I don't know what your question is exactly. Uh, well, we, yeah, we already have time. Yeah, four minutes left.
now I welcome the first speaker of the Republic House to close the case on the <laughs>
And now I welcome the first speaker of the opposition, Chloe Pearson. about the uh, topic employers should be banned from checking apply, uh, applicants Facebook and other social social media uh, profiles. Uh, in this debate we saw from an uh, affirmative side that uh, got out some, uh, some uh, arguments like privacy discrimination and consistency. Like, uh, as a negative side we clearly defined and we clearly said that uh, Facebook uh, is not uh, Facebook or so social medias is not a way to uh, to attack a person's privacy. While uh, they, while uh, when you make an account, uh, as we know, no one no one puts you uh, no one says you uh, to to make an account. You know, like put a gun in your head and say, hey, you you have to make an account or something. You make it by yourself and you share uh, ideas or you share share anything you want with other people. So uh, as as we uh, got the uh, affirmative side said, like uh, they want to keep that information as public security security. They want to share this information with friends, but the employer shouldn't see it. So as a negative side, uh, we absolutely told uh, like. Uh, the employer can see uh, it's it's not the only way Facebook or social media is not the only way to check uh, what uh, what the employee is going uh, how he, he is going to be but it's one of the ways it's one of the ways that we can have more information like you said in a case uh, of for example a uh, uh, for a, a racist or something, we can know better who is he and how is he in relation with uh, social uh, people, with sit other citizens. In this uh, example, if he is professional, uh, professionally uh, enough prepared or he is going to Harvard, but if he is uh, rude and if, if he is not polite, then he can, uh, he cannot, uh, uh, he cannot, uh, uh, he will ruin the image of the corporation, as as we we uh, we said as negative side. We want to have the corporation benefits. So it's my benefit and it's my profit to know about the employee who is he and how polite is he with other people by knowing that it's not necessary to have a Facebook. But if he has a Facebook or another social media, then I'm going to know uh, how is he with other other uh, other people, and this is a plus for me, and this is a plus for the employee maybe because he can know in Facebook how I, how I am as an as an employer. You know, he can know if I'm black or if I'm a racist, and he maybe he he won't uh, he won't if he's Afro American or something he won't uh, like to get in that job or something. Uh, also, uh, I want to say something that uh, for the uh, second uh, uh, argument that uh, affirmative side said like discrimination. Uh, we told uh, that we want to do this for people who have Facebook and. Uh, uh, it absolutely, uh, it's not violence because the general view of people can be seen by everyone when you make Facebook. So <coughs> it's not violence and this is not discrimination while well, you know that he, he accepted his, himself to have the Facebook and to have that account. So uh, where's the point of the affirmative side not to have a Facebook but to have a CV and to know a person only face to face and okay let's take this person to my corporation and tomorrow he will have uh, some, some relation with some other people. He will be rude and he will ruin my whole corporation. So where is the benefit of me and where is the benefit of the society that uh, uh, the affirmative side wants to, uh, to, to achieve that criteria by protecting society and protecting basic rights and protecting human rights by uh, this privacy discrimination and consistence. Uh, like you said, that it's not a, 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 um, it's not a violence. Uh, he accepted himself or he or she accepted himself. So. Uh, this, this automatically will send us to, to a better position if we know more information for a person and we know more things for a person so we can know uh, our benefits or our cooperation knowing, uh, instead knowing that uh, that is not necessary and, and, and it's, it's only one of the ways so we can uh, make together, uh, collect all them like CVs and uh, 
Facebook or social media information and other stuff, and we can know a hundred percent, maybe uh, near nearly a hundred percent for that person who is he and how is is he going to uh, work in my cooperation and what is my benefit in this case. Thank you very much. I thank both teams very much for this debate. I welcome you to shake hands and we have high points.